Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our beloved No Short uh, run where I'm trying to beat the game on Legendary Iron Man difficulty with permanent dark events and the slight, slight uh, side condition to not shoot a single shot or use any explosive whatsoever that of course includes heavy weapons. We are ready for the second Chosen, uh, an Operation Light Eater. Um, tackles the Avenger warlock and the board. warlock has annoyed us big time so far so it's great to finally get a chance uh, to take the fight back to him i'm not 100 percent sure if we're doing the right thing to now, now pull the trigger but my spiderly uh, spidery sense uh, sort of tells me that we're, we were almost being ambushed that's usually how long it takes in order to um, to let the uh, chosen invade you we're going in with two templars uh, sane who's going to support us and quick feet who's going to be our ranger in terms of armor i think we're okay let's first of all start with the support items we certainly want nano med kit and uh, we're going with all of the mimic beacons that we can get got a maxed out um, uh, a maxed out drone there as well secondly mine shields for uh, the templars makes sense Noxus here can take a Mimic Beacon and a Stasis Vest so that um, he can heal in case he's being hit. Edgalian has a few more hit points uh, so we're going to give him also Mind Shield and of course the last Mimic Beacon. Uh, no, we don't have any. So Mind Shield it is and Stasis Vest. Yeah, we got the Beacon here and the mine shield here yeah all four of our mine shields are deployed and we got some extra hit points uh, in case um, our central characters will take damage they would heal up up to eight hit points from the vests the logic is the last time it was pretty much a slug fest and really took a long time so i want to make sure that this time is going to look a bit more doable i suppose we're beginning our mission and there is no excuse for not taking him down guys so let's go right and we just landed here we go let's take a look we landed in a corner a, f a factory hall research center and this here looks like another probably reactor of some uh, sort the idea really is to make sure that we're um, that we're using as much uh, or as little of our resources as possible during that first uh, half of um, the mission and really save everything for the second half. All right, well, let's get this baby rolling. We're going to move right to the only exit of this room that we would want to take anyways, I can cover which it. is right over here. Big feet is moving in. Our psionic uh, operatives are taking good positions and Saint takes the last position. So far so good. First round. Easy movement. We're up against 12 to 15 enemies here. Let's make sure or let's try to not use many of our resources. Cooldowns are fine. Resources are not. We can see that there's an opening here. That's always a dangerous prospect to have an opening like that. And I don't want to make it any worse by just charging ahead. Instead, we're carefully moving in. Moving on target Front line location. moves in and All right, I'll call. back line follows. Yeah, and, and finally same compact formation there could be theoretically a pack of aliens waiting for us 
since we're not in a timed mission, there's really no reason to rush in. This here looks like the long corridor type of building block. Gotta be careful. This here is a full cover spot, so this here should be fine without creating too much line of sight. Okay, that worked out well. All right, fair enough. And now it's a matter of really moving up. Okay. Since we're so far in the back, I don't mind if Sane really takes a position in the back line. For you are the true abominations, microbes that think Let's move up, hop by closes the door. Very nice. That gives us time to fully move up without Moving. jeopardizing anything. Getting it done. But carefully moves over. Sane can Going move up. over here and at Galleon Poe takes the other position. That was a misclick, unfortunately. Anyways. You hear that? Okay, no enemy here, but we're probably, well, there is a potential that we might be flanked from the left side. Is it not the elders who are the true saviors of your race? Okay, fair enough. Uh, that changes the plan a little bit. We certainly don't want to be in a position where someone is uh, just walking into us from behind. Definitely want to prevent that from happening. Five, Closing the door was an important aspect, though. Go, go, go. All right, Sane get, gets into full cover. Possible hostile contact. Yeah, and there is a very possible hostile contact ahead of us. I would bet that they are somewhere in here okay let's take a good look so this here looks iffy yeah that look at that this is one two three of them standing there let's move in and take a couple of blade storm attacks shall we Oh, what a surprise. Well, we weren't expecting to sneak in here today. Let's take these things out. Only the armor. One hit, two hits, lightning reflexes. And things have just gotten worse and worse. <laughs> Well, let me tell you, not the first rodeo that we're having. So a couple of things right off the bat. Heavy, hit, uh, heavy hitting targets should be taken out. Uh, let's start. Oh, we got domination. Hmm, probably we'll save that. Or a little bit later but yeah we got stasis soul fire would deal a pretty nice amount of damage but we also got inspire and inspire would deal even more damage so we're leaving it as is for now The other stasis probably should go to the Elite Spectre. Just a lot of hit points. Don't want to deal with it. Good. It would be absolutely fantastic if we could hit both of these guys. 
Fortunately, that's not going to work. The other option is hitting hitting the Andromedon back there. Yeah, Comet Protocol, I don't want to use that. We will need it later. So that is indeed what would be considered a consumable. Instead, how about, since we're not triggering Overwatch, how about we're just charging in and setting things up the right way? There we go. Overwatch removed. Fantastic. Good. Um, we still want to deal with the mech, right? But before anything happens, let's clean up a little bit. There we go, that's one down. Focus and some cash loot. We do not have Blade Storm, so we could tank, but we cannot like attack with uh, with her a second time. In terms of setting things right. this here put hmm let me see we do have yeah we will need to tank the Andromedon and the way we can do that is by moving over there and attacking it properly Stop on my rage. well that solves a lot of problems In terms of Inspire, we can certainly Inspire Hogbite, that's great. Yeah, and we can potentially even do a little bit of this here. Inspire Hogbite. Very nice. Hogbite just doesn't take no for an answer. For the Massively charges in. I didn't make it through. Can't fully move over there. Okay, fair enough. Moving into the open area. And we're doing the same thing right power. again. That will give him full um, focus, and with full focus he should be able to reach the corner here. Which is exactly what I would be asking him to do, because now he can use his parry. We're making quick feet here, a less attractive target. And that's pretty much it. There's the nice little blade storm hit. <coughs> There's the parry. I will let 
let you die quickly today. Good. We got insanity theoretically, or we got soul fire. Insanity deals a little bit less damage, but we have the chance of disorienting right. or even taking over the Archon. Fantastic. It's also ruptured. Uh, that means we, for the time being, do not need to be concerned about how to deal with it. You can't run for nice little Nullands. <clears throat> we'll soften the big guy off, uh, up. Probably should have waited with that just to give her the full focus. It's fine, it's not the end of the world, but it would have been better if she had the full focus. I was so intrigued uh, of using the kill and then essentially having Bladestorm end in place still there. But yeah, rightfully, I should have done it differently. Okay, that'll trigger two Bladestorm attacks. Can parry. And you know what? Let's just rather be safe than sorry. Elite Spectre runs around uncontrolled for now. Exactly, can he move so many times? Alright, doesn't matter. The good part is he has a melee attack, and a melee attack means we're allowed to use it. <laughs> Setting up the Elite Spectre. Very nice hit. Two very nice hits, to be precise. I'm on it. Your mind is your weakness. And we're using some extra damage. I absolutely love the Psy operatives. You can now see just how strong they are as a base class. We haven't even increased any of their damage so far. Let's maximize our... Um, focus. Is it clear? Good, and this should probably even be a kill. nice I'm all over it. moving up we got we we killed two pretty sizable packs i am happy about how that turned out and yeah this is the way to go Moving up, no trigger. Let's get the door. Heading to that location. Running. And let's get the entire crew over here. Affirmative. Got it covered. Hope white moves there as well. And I'm pretty sure that this is the right uh, one. 
up in the top left very much looks like as if it would open towards the ascension gate like this here Okay, this here is a bit dangerous. There might be something lurking down there. So I'm being cautious. On my way. Heading out. Got it covered. Good. Got everybody. In range, yeah, something is behind us. I knew that it would be a risk. This is the last room, which is tendentially the one where all of the pack, uh, where there's a guaranteed pack in there. So far, nothing has ambushed us from behind. There is movement behind us. I don't mind just leaving it as is. Let's see in here. Okay, just double checking if we can bladestorm pull typical locations of them nah doesn't really look like as if there would be well maybe here yeah all right. I was right. Ahead. This appears to be an alien transport device of some kind. Understood. Looks like we found our way out of here. Well, hello there. And that's one down. And that's two down right there. And ching 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 jackpot. That is why you are double checking. And the lighting reflexes will not help you. Again, only once per round, my friend. Moving in. Striking the elite specter. Continuing to move in, basically disassembling it at this point. And that should finish it. There we go. Done deal. Okay, that was quick and painful for the enemy. We got one more pack some somewhere back there. But like I mentioned beforehand, if we can bypass them, it saves resources and headaches. And we haven't even taken a scratch. So far, so good. nothing really nothing has been used in that first engagement oh boy i am i've just realized that quick feed here doesn't have the axe on him oh my gosh how could i have all right that is stupid because it means we just gotta fight the battle even longer the whole purpose of having him with us was to carry the axe 
really no reason to have like that standard that standard sword. Anyways, mistakes have been made. We, however, will ascend the uh, through the gate, and the next episode, uh, dear friends, will be uh, us fighting the warlock over and over and over and over again until we finally, hopefully, will get him down. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the content, feel free to subscribe and leave a comment down below. Take care and bye bye.